Good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here this morning on a little creek in Tennessee called Middle Creek. And it hasn't rained in quite some time and I was told by some well-respected local waterfall um, photographers, don't even worry about coming here. But I don't know, I had my heart set on it so I came here anyway and I'm just gonna kinda look around and see if there's anything beautiful to photograph. And uh, so that's what I'm kinda working on now, just hiking around the falls on all these rocks and see if there's anything uh, worth taking a picture of. Now, I haven't been the, apparently way up the trail, which kind of turns to rocks that you have to climb on. There's a really big falls up there, and of course, it's probably not gonna be flowing very well. But I just wanna kind of see it and scout the place, and that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so during my scouting, I've already run across one thing that I think looks like it's worth taking a picture of. It's this tiny little falls, I mean, maybe 18 inches, maybe just a foot, really tiny, but I think it's beautiful. Uh, and I'm going to uh, see if I can't make a photograph of it. I'm gonna set up now and, and uh, try to shoot it. So this is the first composition I'm trying on what I'm calling tiny falls. Third of a second F5.6 ISO 100, I don't have any filters on. I'm using the 70 to 200, somewhere around 120 millimeters or so for tiny falls. I'm pretty thrilled to have found this little waterfall, this tiny falls as I like to call it. Everybody's made a photo of Middle Creek Falls, but who all has made photographs of tiny falls? So I put my 14 to 24 on and I've been making some shots just right up on this thing. I think I've finally got a composition that I like set up right here, uh, but the water has splattered on the lens. So I'm gonna wipe the lens off and then take the shot. I've just been using the 10 second timer so I don't uh, drop my remote shutter release into the stream. Looks like I'm at one second, F11, ISO 100. Let me get the lens dry it off and while I'm doing that I'm going to make sure my 10 second timer is on and go one second f11 ISO 100 14 millimeters just right on top of this tiny thing and there we go I ended up cropping this four by five and I really could have used a circular polarizer to tone down some of the glare on those rocks, but otherwise I really am thrilled with this photo. Okay, so I think I've done all I can do from Tiny Falls. I'm gonna hike around some more and see what else I can find. So eventually the trail gets to where it looks like this. <laughs> There's sort of a trail here. But not really. I'm hiking pretty high above the stream now, above uh, Middle Creek. And I think that I've run across Middle Creek Falls, which of course is not flowing very good, but it's flowing more than I thought it would be. So now I'm gonna climb back down this crazy thing and see if I can get a picture of it. Okay, so I was up there just a minute ago and now I'm making my way down this and down that. Then I'll be down there and the falls is around the corner that way. Ta-da! There it is, Middle Creek Falls. And uh, like I said, when I was way over there on top of that hill, it's flowing better than I thought it would. I think it's gonna make a nice photograph or two. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna shoot it. Uh, in the shot that you're looking at, you can't really see the bottom. I may set up here and do a vertical a uh, pretty wide shot. I don't know, but I'm just glad to have made it. My old fat out of shape self is pretty sweaty and my my sore left knee is hurting pretty good, but I think it's worth it and I'm excited to get started. So this location, especially right here on the front of this rock that's, I don't know, maybe 10 feet from the falls, it really lends itself well to the 14 millimeter lens. So I'm going to make 
I'm gonna get the 10 second timer on here and I've already got it all composed and framed up. I'm one second F11 ISO 100 and we'll let that 10 second timer count down and make a nice shot here. Well, that last shot, I actually cut a little bit of the top of the falls off, so I'm reshooting it. You can see the camera's angled up just slightly and it doesn't, I don't think it hurts the foreground any. I don't wanna angle it up too much because there's bright highlights just above the top of the falls and I don't wanna mess those up. Okay, so here is the straight at it shot that I made first and I like this a little bit. Uh, there's actually another straight at it shot that I may like a little bit better coming later in this video. Okay, so I made another uh, one second F11 shot, but this time I took it from way down here, <clears throat> vertical. Uh, of course, I always like to crop four by five on a vertical shot. Hopefully I left enough room to crop that to four by five. But I, I think that so far is my favorite shot, at least looking at the back of the camera. Okay, here is that vertical shot from the lower boulder uh, that is not straight across from the falls. I like this one quite a bit. And then this next one, I did not document it, but this is probably my favorite photo of the day. This is a 14 millimeter shot from that lower boulder where I did that vertical shot. And this is, like I say, probably my very favorite of the day. I hope you like it as well. I climbed down here for a little bit and tried to make some 14 millimeter shots shooting straight up at the falls. And they look pretty cool. There's a lot of distortion. The falls are kind of coming down at weird angles that doesn't look uh, real. And uh, I kept getting water splattered on my lens, so probably won't use any of those. There were actually two compositions that I made while I was down below the upper boulder. And uh, I only used the first one where I was a little bit further back and not getting water on the lens. I did take the time to straighten up the lens distortion in Lightroom and I ended up being pretty satisfied with this shot. I'm making some detail shots now of that high flow area of the waterfall. I'm using the uh, 70 to 200 now. I put the polarizer on just to kind of richen up those rocks a little bit. Of course, with the 14 to 24, I can't put a polarizer on it because of that bulbous front thread and I haven't uh, invested in a expensive filter system for it. But the 7200, I can use a polarizer and uh, these shots are coming out fairly nice. So this detail shot, it's not uh, a great one in my mind, but I did share it with you just to kind of tell the story of this falls. Okay, so I've decided when I go to Los Angeles in two or three weeks that I'm not taking any of my larger cameras. And although the Z6 is a small camera, it's nowhere near as small as my Canon EOS M50. So. Uh, there may be a situation where I want to make a landscape photo and I'll be stuck with this camera. So I've got myself set up here at F11, one second, ISO 100. I'm using the kit lens, the 15 to 45 kit lens. And I'm on, I can't remember if I'm on a two second timer or a 10 second timer, one of those. Must have been a two second. And there we go. Well, I'll show you how that looks. There's a little bit of blinkies in that last shot. I'm, this composition is uh, much closer. I don't have the entire waterfall in because this lens can't capture it from this distance. But I, I kind of like this composition, especially with that large boulder in the foreground on the right. But I'm going to do the exact same settings except for F13. Try to get rid of those blinkies. I probably would not have made this composition with the 14 to 24. Uh, but with that 15 to 45 on the 1.6 crop Canon, I was kind of forced to discover this and I like the way it turned out. So I'm pretty pleased with uh, the Canon EOS M50's ability to make a landscape shot for my Los Angeles trip. Here's another shot I'm working on with the 70 to 200. It's uh, straight down the canyon. There's no water in this photo but it's still cool. I've got it at 200 millimeters to try to compress it as much as I can. And I'm using the circular polarizer and a 10 second timer. I think I, oh, I knocked the camera out of level when I hit the shutter button, but I've got it back. I'm doing that down the canyon shot one more time, except for this time vertical. I thought I was missing some of the trees uh, with the horizontal shot. 
I like this composition quite a bit. There's a, a tree across the, the canyon down there uh, falling over that doesn't completely go across. And I love all these giant boulders in the composition. Uh, I'm not gonna focus stack it. And I was focusing on the tree. And now I'm focusing on that big boulder on the left. And I've got the polarizer on to richen up those uh, leaves. And let's see, I think I've got the 10 set timer set. I do. So we'll get that shot. And I'll probably make a couple of them. It's not very breezy, but there are some leaves moving around down there, which is probably gonna mess up parts of this shot because I'm at one second. I looked through the shots that I made and picked the one that had the least movement in the leaves. And here it is. And I'm pretty happy with this one. I like the way it looks. There's uh, a nice composition here, I believe. Okay, well, I'm packing up and getting ready to hike on out of here. Here's the camera bag for today. Uh, on the top there is the 24 to 70, and in the middle mounted on the camera is the 70 to 200, and on the bottom is the 14 to 24. The three filters over here is my circular polarizer, the 10 stop, and the three stop neutral density filter. And of course, up here in the top of the bag, I keep extra batteries and a cloth and an extra memory card and my remote shutter release, which today I just used the timer. Hiking back out now, I've kind of made it down to where there's trail. Just look at the size of that boulder behind me. That's awesome. This is very near the beginning of the trail to Middle Creek Falls. And there was definitely something man-made here at one time. I don't know what this used to be, but now it's just beautiful rocks covered with moss. It goes on for a long way. And when you're really close to the trailhead, there's even graffiti on it. Look around you. I think I will. All right, well, that's going to do it for me today here at Middle Creek Falls. I've made it back to the car alive. Uh, really like this location. I'm definitely going to come back after some rain or maybe some fall color or maybe a little bit of both. But uh, this is really the first time I've found a waterfall that's a short enough hike to where I can get there in the amount of time that I have on my Thursday morning photography day. So I will definitely be coming back. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you hopefully in the next one. Bye-bye.